There's a lot of damage on this. All right, so we're finally getting back to work on the Demolition Derby car. You might remember this thing from April when I smoked the competition and beat them all for my team, Matt, Rudy, and Paul. It's this beautiful car right behind me. So today, we're gonna be getting this thing straightened out so that we can get to the Derby on Friday, which is a week, but when this video drops, it's actually gonna be the same night as a video drop, but in the YouTube world, it's gonna be a week behind. So if you're in Sampy County, make sure and come to the Derby tonight. It's gonna be super fun. We're gonna try to go for a three-peat. I won last year and I won the year before. So gonna try to go for that third win. I don't know if I'll get it, but we're gonna try. So the old stallion back here needs some repair. Needs a lot of repair. But before we get into it, I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, AG1, for sponsoring this video. Super good product. So we'll talk about that here in a little bit, but that's gonna help us get this car to the Derby. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm actually gonna pull the front down because right now it's kind of bent and crumpled and I can't get the hood off. So I wanna get it all pulled out, stretched. We're gonna stretch this fender back out to where this thing is back up to snuff to where we can beat all the competition. Now I'm not derbying against Matt or Paul because they're not coming up, but that would be super fun be able to derby against my teammates. Without further ado, I bring to you a derby car repair video. All right, so I've got this attached. It's all buttoned up. What I'm gonna do is grab my hose, sneak through here. I'm gonna grab my hose and hook it up. This is a hydraulic system that will make that ram go up and down. So this is a 10 ton, basically big humongous port of power that's gonna stretch this car back. So we're gonna do what's called a down pull first. I'm gonna show you a glimpse of how it's done. This takes years and years and years and years and years and years and years of practice. I feel as if I'm proficient at it. That is hooked in. This needs to be slid away from the wall. It's too close. It's way too close for me. But I've got this valve right here. So I'm gonna open it up all the way so we get all the fluid and all of the pressure. Just me and the boss today. Say hi to the camera. Hi. Hi. She's just excited to be here. All right, so our first pull is gonna be kind of down and out. So you'll see the car. Oh, oh. Everybody stay out of the way. All right, we're maxed out. So what I'm gonna do now, so this is crushing the quarter panel, that's fine. As long as it doesn't put anything into the tires, we're just gonna leave it there. I'm gonna tighten up the front so I can get some extra pulling power. We'll readjust the tower. All right, so I've got those chains tightened. Now as I release this, you're gonna see everything's gonna wanna spring a little. So that's why we over pull things. So you can see how much distance we actually got out of it by the how much chain is gonna release. But if you look at this lock collar right here, it's sliding down so I don't actually have to readjust. That collar is gonna go down lower. I'm gonna make another pull. We'll release that. We'll let that collar slide, and that's gonna give us our length pull and then our eventual down pull. This is how we do it. All right, we're maxed out again. That just keeps crushing. All right, so we just about have the rear of the frame where we want it. I think I'm just gonna release this. So we've hit 10 tons of pulling force. So what I wanna do now is I need to somehow get in that down pulley so I can actually pull some, pull it down and then we'll readjust to this tower and pull this rail out. All right, so I can't use this chain through the pulley because the chain, as you can see, hits the nut. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'll reposition this. I'm gonna grab another chain. And I'm going to actually come in here and just redo the whole thing. So I'll take, I'll take this chain down through, put my pulley in, and then it won't hit. So now I'll make a hook out of this, hook this up, and then I'll readjust my chain. And this is gonna actually give us a down pull. All right, 
That should work. Now I'm stuck again. So now watch how this frame moves. This is the power of a pulley. Now you want to be careful because you can over pull this and really do some damage. But I don't think we're to that point yet. All right, what I'm going to do is before I let that off, I'm going to go grab a sledgehammer and I'm going to try to beat some of the sheet metal on that hood. All right, so you can see where my fender buckled. So I'm going to get up and I'm just going to try to beat the metal. That way when I release the pressure, it wants to hold it out. So. Now this is a little, a little bit different than fixing car frames because you don't want to, you don't want to use all this force on a vehicle, on a normal vehicle. I'm only using this on a derby car because I know it can handle it. That other side, I'm not going to hit until I do another pull, but this side, this is good as new. All right, so I've got one of my MoClamp straps, and we're just going to try to pull this corner out. You can see up in here, this corner of the bumper's back. It's buckled up here, and the frame rail is destroyed right here. So I'm going to get a lot of pressure on this, then I'm most likely going to grab my rosebud and try to get a little bit more out with some heat. If we can't talk it into it with pulling power, we're going to talk it into it with heat. It's starting to move. Hear it tearing the flame. All right, so we're maxed out. But I can see it's doing some serious tearing, which is great. It's what we want. What I'm going to do is grab, I'm going to set up the torch. We're going to grab a different camera so you guys can actually see what we're doing. We'll be right back. All right, so AG1 sponsored today's video, and I want to talk to you guys about the benefits that I've received from taking AG1 again. I took the entire month of July off, and I noticed a huge, huge difference. I was crashing in the afternoon, wasn't sleeping well, it just wasn't feeling good. So click the link in the description to get a one-year supply of vitamin D3, K2, and five free travel packs with your first purchase of AG1. AG1 is a comprehensive all-in-one greens powder engineered to fill the nutritional gaps in your diet and support your body's nutritional needs across four pillars of health. Got health? immune support, energy, and recovery. It's packed with 75 vitamins and minerals and whole food source ingredients, combining the perfect amount of micronutrients, absorption, and taste to jumpstart your daily routine. Ah, delicious. AG1 provides 75 vitamins, minerals, whole food source, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens in one convenient daily serving. Thank you, AG1, and make sure you guys click the link in the description, head over, get your one-year supply of D3K2 and five free travel packs with your first purchase of AG1s. Now, we got a lot of work to do, so let's get back to it. no idea how hot this is, but it's getting real hot. I can feel it all glowing. What I want to do is get it to the point where I can pull it and try to get some of this out without just tearing it. Oh crap, it's maxed out. So I actually have to readjust it real quick. I got, I got ahead of myself. So I'm going to get pressure on it again, and then I'm going to heat it up again. All right, let's see. All right, you can see that's coming out. All right, we're getting there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disattach it, shorten the chain, and then I'm gonna get that red hot again, pull it, and I'm gonna get in there with a hammer. And I'm gonna start beating that rail into position. I'm gonna hold it there, let it cool for a second, go get a bigger hammer. I got me two different sizes. One is a BFH, that's a big freaking hammer. It's that one. Then I got a LFH, it's a little freaking hammer. So once I get this glowing red, we're gonna crank that pressure back up. Ooh, we're gonna get this frame straight. And I haven't told you guys yet, but we're headed up to hang out with my buddy Bruce Cook at the Nitro 
cross rally event, whatever it's called, up at the Utah Motorsports Park. So me and the boss are going to be taking off, going and having some fun up there and hanging out with some cool people, watching some cool events. And my buddy Diesel Dave is going to be driving in the vans up there. So hopefully one of these days we'll be able to drive the super cool destruction van. I want to get this real hot. Oh, look who's here, Mr. Hillbilly. All right, so I'm going to start putting pressure on this. And once it starts to move, I'm going to control it with a hammer. Get this locked in. Okay, now it's starting to move a little. All right, as you can hear, it's moving. We're getting it straight. Whoa, and there we went. Now we're right where we need it. Okay. I hope you got that. Okay, now what I'm gonna do while I'm holding pressure, I'm gonna flatten this all out. That's as good as that pop's gonna be. So I'm gonna heat up the bottom, pound that into place, and then this is gonna get plated. Get her flat. Flatten it more right there. Hold on. Okay. Right, ready? You might have to hit the sway bar too. To get it to do what you want. Okay, go. Oh, there you go. There you go. Perfect, perfect. Now hit that in. Okay. All right, we need a little bit of water. Just kidding, we need Hillbilly's blower. All right, I'm gonna call that straight. So what we'll do Hillbilly as well as much as we can. All right, we're gonna leave this, we're gonna leave this to cool down right there. Here in a minute, we'll let it off and we're gonna get the sheet metal pulled out and then we're gonna plate that. But um, in the meantime, let's hurry and grab that. Let's try to get that lower hose off. I'm wondering if we should run a fan or not. No, we definitely need a fan. Well, so we need to get a fan. Hose, lower hose pulled off. The lower hose has a hole. Uh, That's why we lost coolant. So when Paul hit me, when, he, when my teammate smashed me, it pushed that rail in and it kinked the hose into the fan. Fan cut it. Which that's just a Ranger fan, ain't it? Yeah, the Ranger fan. All right, so Hillbilly's been welding a little bit on the frame. We've got some frame patches. I'm gonna air smack them because they're super hot. So we've got that all repaired. He's got one more little piece to go there. And we've got a plate that needs to go on in the back. So anyway, we're gonna get this upper, whatever it is, pulled. Fender. Yeah, but it's like a blob. He calls it a fender. Um, so we're gonna bolt the pulling plate up here and get this all pulled out. That's really hot, really, really hot. I'm gonna pull the radiator hose off or I'm gonna unclampy it. This is what happened when my, when my partner Paul decided to hit me really, really hard. He broke my fan. Oh, that's water. Okay. Well, at least we had a little bit of water in there. A little bit of cooling power. So, right there. Right there is our little nick from the fan. Because when I got hit, it went bonk! And it cut it right there. Anyway, that's the hose that we're going to get replaced. It's got a spring down inside. Which I'm glad it had a spring because it wasn't able to collapse. Next. What? Is that better? So I want to get this all pulled because as soon as we get this pulled, Hillbilly's going to continue working. We're headed up to Nitro Cross at the Utah Motorsports Park to hang out with Bruce. No can do ski. Oh, there's a little eyelet right there. It's that one on the right right there. Nice thing about mo clamp is you got a ton of different attachments. All right, we're going to remove 
This big humongous blob of dent. Turn it back into a fender. Oh, this is spectacular. This is the best work I've ever did. Oh, Alex, we're gonna need a new pulling plate. That's bending. Alex from MoClamp is gonna be so disappointed in his bent plate. But you know what? It's doing what we need it to. Do we have any more locks? Chain locks? I don't know where they're at. Oh, that is nice. It wouldn't have been that bad if Paul didn't rail you. I know. Okay, hold it. Now drop that collar down. Perfect. So you can see this is walking back into position like we want it to. Now let's see if we can like shove a bolt in that or something. Once we get it readjusted, get the slack out of it, we're gonna pull it again. And then Hillbilly's gonna be able to weld all this together. Hopefully this will be all we need to do. All right, we need to adjust that collar down. So what's happening is this is wanting to raise the fender up and tear it away. We want the fender to go down. So we're gonna lower the collar and have more of a hold downwards. Is there more chain? Yeah, you're gonna wanna let all the chain off. Lock your collar. All right, this should do what we need it to. We're gonna have to go down lower. I'm just trying to make sure that we pull this correctly before he we welds it so that everything can be put back together the way it needs to be. So Hillbilly's gonna get up on top and we're gonna beat that fender down. And we what, what we could do also is a down pull. So start tapping and let me see what it does. No, let's, all right. We're gonna reposition everything. We're gonna put a down pull pulley to where we can get the fender pulled down. All right, this should do the trick. Fender, release. Release, right meow. Right meow. All right, give it a little tappy now. Got through here. There we go. Okay, hold it, hold it. So that worked. We'll probably want to leave that holding until you can get it welded. It's okay if it just hit it. It's okay if it's over top. What we'll have to do is Hillbilly's gonna have to pull this out a little bit, probably with a pry bar, beat this up in, roll this out somehow. Or leave it like that so it doesn't pop tires. Yeah, well, we're gonna connect. Well, yeah, actually just roll that out. So he's gonna weld all this stuff together. That's pretty much it for me right now because I'm taking off, but Hillbilly's gonna get to work on this, get that all done. Once he gets this all welded to where it can hold, we'll release that pressure. I'm gonna shut this valve off so it holds. Okay. And then we gotta connect all this somehow with some metal, connect this, and just make sure it stays together. I think that's it. And then I need to get a hose and a belt and a fan. This is your baby now. Do I have to have this baby? We gotta hurry and get this one done because Hillbilly still gotta get his car ready. And he's not gonna break the starter this year. Nope, front's lifted higher so it won't this time. Good. I hate welding pop can thin metal. It, melt, it burns real easy. Slowly coming together. Almost done with the sheet metal on this side. Then I gotta finish putting the plate right here. Front part corner piece, and then I'll be done with this side. Try and get this all down and behind the course part.
It's just flopping there. And that's not good because it can cause flat tires and cause issues to where he's out quick. We don't want that. So we're here at Nitro Cross with my buddy Bruce Cook. He came oh, all the way from British Columbia just to hang out with me here, just for you. So nice of you. So we're hanging out, watching from the top level. This is my first Nitro Cross I've ever been to, but it should be a good time. I know Jim York's got all his buddies in bands. We're excited to see that because it's a lot like the Demolition Derby. One of the Can Ams are on its side, so they're going to call a caution. So the bands are just about to come out. The main event. This is what we came for. We came for the band. So we're going to see how destructive they get. Hopefully nobody gets hurt, but I'm excited for it. I'd be more excited if you and I were in there racing each other, but I'm excited to watch. Well, Jim York, next time. Next time. You got some drivers. Right, what do you think of the bands? I mean, it's the main event. I like, think so too. They're, they're, they're big dogs. You know what would have been better? Yeah. That number one, number two, yeah. put on a better show, but hey, maybe hey, next time. I guess maybe. maybe derby cool. band. Yes, well, we're going to derby band. We need more rolling and bigger jumping, yes. so we got that covered. That's right, we need to be a part of it. So yeah. that's it. We're going to take off for Nitro Cross and get back to the shop. He's getting back to Canada. Driving home. Okay. Okay, I'm going to show you guys what happens when you over pull something. It's hard to tell if you're over pulling or not, so you never know until it goes pop. So I'll show you what happened, what it looks like. Right there. That's all supposed to be welded together. And it's not, so I'll get it fixed. So we're gonna get the hood pulled off and get the belt changed, get the hose put on, and then there's a few other things that I'm gonna finish. So we just got back, Nitro Cross. It was a lot of fun. So I've got my buddy Steven coming to help tonight. We've got a bunch of stuff to get done because we got a derby coming up and tonight's the last night we got to work on this. All right, so Steven's helping me get all these bolts off. I've got the driver's side all disconnected. So as soon as we get that off, the hood should come off. We got all the little ones out. Steven's just going to get the big one pulled out. And the nice thing about the bolting your hoods, you pull them right off. All right, so this is much easier to get into now. One thing we need to do is go out to the Cadillac out there and we got to get a metal fan. So we're going to put the lower hose on. I'm going to take this off. We'll go out and we'll get, we're going to go get a metal like six blade fan off of one of the donor cars out there. Uh, my buddy Jeff Collier said that that's the best thing to do is run a steel fan because then they don't blow up like this. So this should be pretty cut and dry. Slide a hose on, clamp it up and this should be fixed. And one thing I do is I run coolant in my engine <clears throat> because that way if you forget or the winner like some people do you got coolant in it to protect it okay that is done now i'm gonna have steven start welding because steven's good at that so if you look underneath here the frame that was bent so when they pulled it out it, it tore so now we're putting new plates on so now we just got to weld the underside of this one and then there's a couple plates I think there's actually one more on the inside than a couple on the other side. All right, so I'm gonna try to put these on without taking anything off. So we're gonna use the starter to bump this belt on. So Steven's gonna hit it and I'm gonna... Okay, a little more. Are we just, just a little bit? Yep, just go. There you go. It's on. Oh, we're yeah. on. All right. Okay, next one. So these are stretch fit belts. All right, bump it. <laughs> the whole belt twisted. Okay, bump it slightly. Okay, hold on. Okay, bump it. Bump it. Bump it. Cool. Okay, they're on. So, that's how you put derby car belts on. Just that simple. All right, Steven's gonna continue welding, and I'm gonna go out and get the new fan. All right, so this is the boneyard. We're gonna go out. I've got a an old Cadillac out here that's got a, a steel fan on it. So we're gonna go rob it off of it and get it put on the derby car. So we're gonna try to get this fan out of here. 
Might have to take this top section off. This has got a clutch fan hooked to it, but I use a clutch fan eliminator, so we won't be using the clutch fan. We'll just be using the blade. Got it all unbolted, now I gotta try to fish it out. Which, <laughs> it ain't coming out. I think, but your hose. Oh. oh, check it out. You got them? No, I got a crescent wrench. Did you find your crescent wrench? Nope, I bought a new one. This is why you carry a baby crescent wrench in your pocket at all times. When you're out in the back and you need a 7 16 and all you have is a half inch. Thank you, little baby crescent. Now, that should put it out of the way enough. Uh, that's exactly what we need. And just like that, we're gonna leave that fan clutch. We got exactly what we need. We're gonna go in and install this now. All right, so we've got this one finished being welded on. Um, we've got the top one done. There's a top one in the in the corner here. Um, right now, we're just putting a bottom one on right where it was torn. So we're gonna weld that one back on. All right, well, we got our steel Cadillac fan on. That ought to do some cooling now. Put some coolant in, put some fluid in this. So I made Steven get out because I can't guarantee I can't spill or that I won't spill. So because Steven decided to get out, I won't spill. But had he stayed under there, be all down my back. That's right. Look at that. Good. Not a drop. See if you can fire this up, Nick. Oh, we got our buddy Nick here too. Everybody's here to help. Everybody. Hey, hi, Nick. What's up? Ready? Pump that one, Steve. Uh-huh. Yeah, right. Now you ready? Now we've got that all taken care of. Steven's gonna get back to welding, but we've got the coolant filled back up. We've got the fan on, the belts on. Nick's getting the battery charged. Okay, so we got the frame plates put where we needed them, where the frame was damaged. We can get the tires back on, get the blocks out from underneath it, and all we have to do is put the hood on. So it hit the relief, it had the airbag so full that it hit the relief valve. It scared me, I thought it was blowing an airbag. <laughs> Almost forgot one of the most important pieces, the roof sign. This fishing glass bolt and this roof sign will be bolted on. I ain't going anywhere. All right, so we've got this Durfee car just about ready. So we're gonna let it down. I even put the most important thing on this morning. What'd you do? Oh my gosh, my roof sign's on. So basically we gotta charge the battery, put the hood on, tighten it, and this thing is ready to rock and a roll. That's the wrong roof sign. It says Robbie Layton 24 and it's the same colors. How's it wrong? That's wrong. Which roof sign does it need? It's upstairs. Oh, we have a new one. But the most important thing is still outside. Adley's Derby car. <laughs> All right, well you go get the roof sign. I'm gonna let this down. We're gonna go over what we need to do to this and we're gonna go pull in my sweetheart's Derby car and we're gonna put some new go fast stuff on it. Let's hopefully hope it's in neutral so it doesn't just take off and- Why would we want it neutral? I want it in park. Or hopefully it's in park and not neutral. Help, it's so heavy. <laughs> it is the wrong color. <laughs> Hill Billy has a pink one. What is that crap of, oh, oh, there's the right color. Okay, all right, there's the right one. For a second, I thought it was wrong. So it looks like we've got a roof sign that needs to be installed. Hillbilly's gonna have to put the roof sign on here, and then before the derby, we will put the hood on, but we have super duper more important stuff to go worry about. So let's go to the mechanical shop, because we got things and such to do. So check this out. These are super top secret motors for my little sweetheart's demolition derby power wheel. 
These may or may not make her ride a wheelie. <laughs> and that's a risk I'm willing to take. So my sons have all grown up in the power wheels industry. Braden was power wheeling, Riker was power wheeling, and now it's my daughter Adley's turn. So Corey, roll the clip. <laughs> Um. Braden and Riker just smashing each other in the old shop with <laughs> their $300 motors. You can't put a price on racing, okay? And if my little baby wants to race, she's gonna race. And she's gonna race to win. So we got her some heat distribution fins. We're gonna get these thrown on. We're gonna be running an M18 HD 12.0 <laughs> battery in series with another one so that thing can do some serious, serious wheelie riding. All right, we're gonna run and grab the power wheels. We'll be right back. Wasps. Yeah, that just lame-o's full of wasps. Is it really? And there's a bunch of them flying around it. Oh, They're behind the tail light. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Got him. No, you didn't, he's still flying. No, he's dead. He's down for the count. Move, 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 I'll get you in the face. <laughs> No more stingy. We gotta be able to pull this in the shop t like tomorrow. So we gotta get all the wasps gone. Okay, back to business. Look at this. Here she is in all its beautiful glory. Saddle up, partner. Will it hold me? Get your feet in. Oh. That was on purpose. Woo! We got motors to install. I was gonna use the lift, but you know what? It may not fit. <laughs> it might be just a wee bit too small. Challenger, we need a lift that can support a power wheel. Inside you will find stock burned out motors. We have switch panels in there. They're probably all wet. I don't wanna give away all my trade secrets, but there's a negative and a positive on this. Negative and positive. See, burned up. Well, they're spinning. Look, right here, I'll show you. I think those are tires. Oh, we're gonna. <gasps> Good news. We've got better. We've got better motors, anyways. First things first, get this apart, and then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take one of my old Milwaukee chargers apart, and I'm gonna use the clamp part, and I'm gonna wire it, and I'm gonna solder it and I'm gonna make this plus one more. It's gonna be so great. Or should we go get our brothers? Maybe we should take parts off of this and reinforce the brothers. What do you guys think? Should we go get their brother's power wheel? You guys have never seen it. That thing is sweet. Oh, this is bolted on. Okay, go grab a 916. I wonder if we could use, oh, my brain's going wild right now. I'm having some really, really good ideas, but I don't know if the ideas will work, but this, this is the ticket to our success. Hillbilly, I already can feel it. This is gonna work so good. Adley's gonna win. I'm gonna win. You're gonna win. When has your boys that never won in theirs and they have the same motors? My sons got kicked out of Power Wheel Derbies. They were riding wheelies on the other kids, so they were asked to kindly never come back. <laughs> but you know what? You'll get that. Okay. Oh! Oh wow! Okay. Screw ate it away. We have a we have a problem on that wheel. All right, let's go get. Whoop! Let's go get the other power wheel. Okay, off to the storage unit. Let's roll. All right, so I just want to tell you guys a little something. This is today's situation is exactly why I hate locks. Okay, we're headed to the storage unit, and we're gonna go cut the lock off and put a new one on because I don't have the key to my own storage unit. You do know that all locks come with two at least two keys, right? Whoa, maybe, actually, everybody just pause. I'm like the old janitor from elementary school. Let's see if there's a master key. There's no master key. So anyway, we're gonna go cut it off and we're gonna put two more keys on my janitor set of keys and put a new lock on. Good thing I brought a hammer. <laughs> Victory is mine. Looky, looky. Looky what I got. Okay. There she is in all her glory. That is Brayden and Riker's power wheel. Oh, yeah. There's nothing left of those back tires. 
Well, they're better than the ones at the shop. It has now been brought to my attention that this is the new one instead of the donor. So Demery's gonna have to paint this. We're gonna put motors in it, put the bigger battery in it. Hopefully Adley likes it. So these just go right in the place of the originals. So Hillbilly's getting that threaded down to a 7 16 14. I'm getting my wires ready for the motors. Cool thing with these new little motors, they came with connectors. Push it in, slam it down. Now we're connected. Got it all wired up. We'll get the rear axle back in and see if this works. I'm just gonna mask all this stuff in the inside so then I can spray paint it pink. Why pink? Because she loves pink. Well, actually, maybe I'll ask what color she wants. So we finally got it done. You wanna try it? Okay, get in. Let's see if it runs and dries. Go right there. Ready, steady, go! Woo! Oh yeah, I'd say it goes. Go, 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 go! Did we lose it? All right, back to the drawing board. Thanks for watching.